In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to declare variables to reference to different objects and different parts in your games. To get started, let's go ahead and add a part to your game. You can choose any part you like and you can scale it to make it a little bit bigger. Next thing I want to do is I want to rename this part to ball. And now I want to select the part and I want to duplicate the part. So you can do control D or you can go here, right click and duplicate. And I'm going to move the part out. I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to right click and duplicate and move the part out. So now I have three different balls. Let's see this first ball is going to be ball number two. So I'm going to rename my balls so I, I know which one is which. This one is going to be ball number one. And this one is going to be ball number three. Now to reference to your part, it's pretty simple. And you may already know how to do this because we've done it in our previous tutorials. So you just select the part and you're going to add a script to it. And your, in your script, you're going to declare local, uh, just call it ball. So that's the uh, variable name and set that variable equals to script.parent. All right, so we did this in our previous lesson. So this is our script. The ball is the parent of the script. That's why we set it equal to script.parent. And whenever you want to reference to ball number three, you just use this variable ball and it's going to reference to ball number three. Uh, to be more specific, let's call it, let's uh, rename the variable to ball three. And now to change the uh, color of that ball, all I have to do is say ball three dot brick color equals two brick color and dot let's say uh, red for example and now my ball is going to be red let's take a look and there it is so our third ball is actually the one on the left and I assume this is ball number two and the ball number one is the one on the right so as you can see, ball number three has turned to red. So that's one way to reference to your part and make changes to your part using script. Now, on the other hand, what if you want to change ball number two? So one way to do it would be to add another script to ball number two. But what if you want to do all the processing in one single strip? Then in that case, you can do this you can declare ball number two. So local ball two, and you set it equals to script dot parent. That means uh, right now your script is here, right? So script dot parent is the next level up. So that is ball three. In order to get to ball two, you need to go one more level up to the workspace. So you're gonna say dot parent again. So now you have the workspace and now you're gonna have to come down to the ball number two. So, so in order to get from ball three to ball two, you cannot go there directly. You have to walk up one level to the workspace and then walk down to ball two. So now you're gonna say dot ball two. And now you can do the same, the same thing here to change the brick color of ball number two. So I'm gonna copy, paste. I just gotta change this to my variable, ball two instead of ball three. And we can pick a different color for ball number two, dot blue. Let's take a look.
and there it is you see as you can see wall number two has turned to blue so those are two different ways of changing of referencing to a part in your game the first way is to add a script directly under your part the second way is you have to walk the path to your second part so if the script is not under your part you gotta walk it up and down to your part next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna get rid of the script so I'm just gonna delete it so now if I play all the colors of my balls are not gonna change now a very common place to place a script in Roblox is you place it inside the server script service so you can add a script inside server script service and you can rename it to main so assuming this would be our main script and it's gonna control everything inside our game so how would this main script control the balls in our workspace to do that you are gonna declare a variable so let's say local ball one equals to and you need to start out at the root of the directory so the root of the directory is our game so you start out with game and then from your game you're gonna go to your workspace so you're gonna say dot workspace and then you're gonna go to your ball so you're gonna say dot ball one and that with reference to your ball one and we're gonna do the same thing again so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it down here and paste it down here we're gonna change this second variable to be our ball two variable and it's gonna reference to our ball two the third one is gonna be ball three and it's gonna reference to our ball three inside our workspace. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and change the colors of those balls. So I'm gonna say ball one dot brick color equals to brick color dot and let's give it blue. I'm gonna copy this and we're, we're going to do it two more times so my ball 2 is going to be let's see what color we should select I like the color red but let's see how about green we'll save red for last ball 3 now it's going to be red All right, let's take a look. And there it is, all the balls colors have been changed. So this is the third way of doing it. And you're doing it through the um, server script service. You're adding a script to the server script service, which is again, a very common place to put your scripts because from there, you can control everything inside your game. And finally, I'm going to show you one last scenario where you need to reference to your parts. So in our final scenario for this tutorial, we're going to add a folder to the workspace. So click plus next to the workspace and select folder. And you can rename that folder to my parts a and now I'm gonna move all my balls inside that folder so now all my balls are inside that folder so how would I reference to those ball so let's start with ball number one again so to reference to ball number one you would have to go to your root directory which is the game and then you have to walk to the ball number one, right? So the first directory you're going to walk through is your workspace. And then dot 
the next one is gonna be my parts folder so you're gonna say dot my parts then you do dot ball one and you would have to do the same for ball two and ball three so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it down here change this to ball two and the last one to ball three and let's take a look and there it is all three balls the color of all three balls has been changed all right so that is how you reference to your parts to your objects in your games if you would like to have some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted you can go to our youtube channel price cp roblox and click on the playlist here we, we have a bunch of different playlists. Um, there are two good playlists for new beginners here. The first one is the Price CP Roblox New Beginner Series, which we are working on right now. And um, you can also go to Price CP Roblox Extreme Simple Series. The, this series is actually a very good series for new beginners. Um, just start with lesson number 001 and then go go in sequence like go zero, from 01 to 0203 because each new lesson um, the material is uh, is based upon the material that you learned from the previous lesson so if you go out of order some of the um, material you may not be familiar with all right so until next time have fun creating your own Roblox games.